Have you ever wondered what it would be like to ride a corpse as a jet ski or to have that corpse as your companion whilst you navigate your way through a deserted and mostly isolated island, slowly going more and more disoriented and delusional, all packed into a simple hour and a half long movie? Yeah, you probably don't believe that something like that actually exists. Sounds like something your 12-year-old cousin would come up with at a dinner party to impress their friends. Well, let me introduce you to the 2016 film titled Swiss Army. Now, Swiss Army Man is exactly what you would expect from what I've already informed you. It follows the story of a man named Hank who has been stranded at sea for what we can assume is some time now. He sees no hope in sight, so he plans on doing the only thing he knows how, by going out the easy way. Suddenly, a body washes up on the land below. He goes over to investigate it, finding it completely dead and washed up, and once again, all hope is lost. That is until suddenly Hank sees this corpse start farting. Yes, I'm, I'm being serious. And comes to the realization that he can simply just ride this decomposing corpse to safety, as the corpse has accumulated a lot of gas buildup, which he inevitably does. And he successfully makes it to land. But wait, all is not well. Hank is still stranded, now on a larger piece of land, with still no life in sight. Thus, the true adventure begins. Let's talk about the direction here. Each shot is shot as though it came from a sketchboard or a simple drawing put into a format. It has that artificial comic feel to it whilst at the same time maintaining the realism to keep it grounded in a realistic reality. Now sure, farting corpses aren't naturally grounded in reality, but this is a fictional world that happens to discuss real life problems and ideologies, so I suppose this one gets a free pass on that. The directors of Swiss Army Man are Daniel Kwan and Daniel Scheinert who have both been heavily praised for their film Everything Everywhere All at Once, which, upon watching, you can already see the vibrant imagination of the Daniels come into play. The whole of that film being the villain of the story putting the entire universe on a single bagel. Not so different from the likes of Swiss Army Man's premise, in the sense that these types of stories aren't told all that often. Before the success of Everything Everywhere All at Once in Swiss Army Man, the Daniels only ever directed short music videos and had little experience in the directing and production of a full feature length film. This is our very first feature film, but we've been doing music videos and short films for years now. So a lot of music videos would start with like a funny image and then we would spend a long time trying to come up with a story that was like a fun exploration of that funny image. Swiss Army Man is the same thing, but it's an hour and a half long. <laughs> And you can definitely observe that aspect when watching Swiss Army Men, as some scenes do feel as if they were taken straight out of a short film rather than a full budget one. But that doesn't take away from the importance of this film as a whole, and the possibilities and concepts that can be taken away from it. Swiss Army Men is not a normal film that you watch with your friends or go to the cinema to see. It's indie. It's experimental. It has many interpretations set in place, thus the underlying message of this film can be seen or taken as anything you'd like. This film was not made to bring in the box office stacks or to become the next big blockbuster. It was made by two best friends who had an idea and fulfilled it. It was made with love and passion, a simple and fun thing to do after hours with your buddies. It doesn't take itself seriously because it's not a serious film. It's aware of how ludicrous and redundant it is, yet it doesn't seem to care. It simply exists, as everything does, and you can choose to watch it or ignore it, but just know that it's there. The movie is about a farting corpse, but we wanted to take that and make it the most beautiful thing we could and make it the most heartfelt thing we could. You know, with amazing actors, with beautiful visuals, with an amazing score, it had to exist with all those things. Almost to just prove to ourselves and prove to everyone else that maybe we're, we're looking at how films should be made a little too small. And I think it took a lot of really talented people that we surround ourselves with to kind of push it out into the world. 